I'm out here at Keith Towhills looking at some of his old oil trucks. This one's an old Alice Chalmers. Been converted. See, it's got the big mast on it that folds out. This is the remains of a truck. Just got the important part. I assume it was a Ford, and that's probably what's left of it. There's more green metal over there. It probably goes with that, too. Most of Keith's trucks were metal or green. The International here, the Lodestar, seems to be the odd one out. It's got vines growing all over it. The plate on it says June of 96. An old Lodestar, 1600. It's got some sort of flatbed on it. Whatever else was on it's been cut out. Got a little toolbox and a pipe vise. Got the metal dashboard you can see in there. And then its little partner in crime over here is an old Dodge. About a early 70s, I bet, 74-ish. It's the culprit of a tree. <laughs> it's got the cab mashed out of it. It's got a 94 plate on it. Big rig bumper on it. And it probably had some sort of other bed on it, but now it's got this circular bed here. Back window's not cracked, but it's popped out of there. I won't show you his phone number, but there's his old decals. Got the jack there. Uh, we can't see in this one because of the mold. And I can't reach around the broke windshield. That's a Dodge 500. It's a big old truck. Then we got another Dodge over here of about the same vintage. And I assume it's a parts truck for the real nice one that's in the barn. He's got a real, real nice one of these in the barn. This has got an 87 plate on it. It's all rusted down. All the around the grill and the, the hood's got moss hanging out of it. There goes some kitties. Yeah. Got one windshield wiper up and one down. The roof of the truck's delaminating itself. One headlight. It's run into something. Badge is gone. I imagine the badge is on the new one. The door probably got hit when it was open, and that's why this is peeled out. I'll show you that if that means any anything to any Dodge guys seat starting to rot out in it. Headliner's toast. You can see through the cab there. There's a nest there, but this time of year we don't got to worry about that. No bed on this one. Man, that one's whole cab's about rusted off of this guy. Look above the back window. Whole top of that cab's about gone. Then we got an old Chevrolet step van over here. It's sunk down in the mud. That old truck rear end here. See that? Step van 30. Tickenor Chevrolet Oldsmobile Buick Hartford, Kentucky. Big plastic mirrors on this one. Nope, not a B. I thought it was a B. Oh, that's got a lot of old electric motors for the jacks in the back of it. That's why it's sunk in the ground. It's full of real heavy stuff. I was thinking with this grate up here in the door, this would be a real good thing to haul a bunch of junk around in if it ran. Windshield's got some holes in it. 
I'll run around the other side here. Hood stuck open. It's so rusty I can't get it open. Apparently the latch is probably broken. That's what all this jazz is here. Used to say Chevrolet on it. There's an E. There's an O. There's a T. It's been painted over. Part of this grill trim here is rusted off. It's something's kissed it on the other side here. Gonna knock that headlight trim around. It didn't break the badge though. The badge is still good. Got the sliding doors on it. Decaying seat. This is the parts truck for his old Toyota that he's got up by the barn. If you watch my channel, I painted a little model of his red truck and this is the parts truck from that it's still got the keys in that no seats in it ain't nothing useful in it <laughs> got a big hole in the windshield got some tin over the engine yeah so there's no uh, fenders on that one there I ran around and got pictures of most of these I don't have a picture of this one Got some tractor tires in the back. Sliding back window. It's got a tailgate and one tail light. And then this one runs. I've seen this one run. They use this one. This is another old International. It's got a real tall mast on it. I've got a video a couple years ago of of when this was set up. It's pretty cool. It don't say Toe Hill anywhere on it. But this one runs. Got an old Waukesha motor on it. Big metal wheels. To some people it may not be real pretty but it runs. That come from one of his powers too, I recognize that thing. What's this guy, International 2400A. And then I thought this was cool because I've wanted one of these for a couple years now. This is an old John Deere tail fire, tra uh, trail fire snowmobile. Old John Deere 440 with one headlight. I've wanted one of them for a couple years. This looks like an old Ford. Yep, the remains of an 8N. This van's really cool. This is an old. International Metro, I believe. It's all sunk down in the ground too. It's full of piping and whatnot. Some boxes. There's still a hard hat up on the shelf. Looks like a place for a light bulb. Cabinets. There's a heater back there. Looks like a decent toolbox there. What's this say on the side? Rayburn Drilling. Look how short that phone number is. Paris, Illinois. Look at that door. That door is completely rusted through. So much the, the window won't hold up. These things have been out here for a long, long time. It's kissed something. No headlights. 
No trim. I think this is a Metro. Sure looks like one. The American Pickers redid it. Or they didn't redo one, but they had they found an international metro. It ended up being Aerosmith's first van. No paint on this side. Dash is gone, the hood's up on it. I think that's an international. Big bottle of something down there. You can see light coming through a, around all the windows. That's not a necessarily good thing. There's a SRAM. Doors off a Ford truck. Keith runs a lot of superiors, so those are probably superior. Yeah, those don't look like superiors, so. I don't know. Old Vermeer. <laughs> it's a unique looking little contraption. That's another bed, part of one, off a truck. Flipped over three wheeler. wood building another old dodge you'd think he was a dodge man wouldn't you i'm sorry this is a homer simpson truck this is a dope <laughs> what's this sign say Good housekeeping is the keynote to safety, cleanliness, order, and a place for everything are essentials of safety. That looks like an old building. Looks like that is up from the back of an old truck. Old crates and such. Old mailbox. A lot of windows out of truck camper tops like this one here. That one's pretty cool. That's got a wood grain to that tin. There's a ladder for a mast. This is a Dodge 700. This is like the uh, old Lesney matchbox trucks they made. Those were 700s. This is uh, this is a winch. I'm, I can't talk. It's a winch truck. Let's go to the other side. Let's have the door swung open on it. Holes is bent. Turn signals are out of it. It's missing the ring around the headlight. J and J well service. You can kind of see in there. There ain't no cars over there, so I'm gonna walk over this way. More sheds. This looks like an old workshop. It's a nice bench there. It's a Ford Courier hubcap. I'd like to have that. Since Keith likes his little Toyotas, he probably likes the Ford Courier. I reckon he had one at some point or another. I know he had a bunch of Studebakers. This is another truck bed. And this is the tanker truck. It's a Ford 700, I think. Tow Hill Oil Operators. 800. That's the chrome trim from around the grill. Old Dodge. Ford. And he got the motor loose. 
Wow. And uh, then he, I don't know, he, I guess he sold the car, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was going to put it, the motor, it run. Oh. And uh, he was going to put it in a, he had an old coupe car that the motor was bad in. He went to the work, I said, you can have it if you want to get it out of there. So he gave up and sold the car. Huh. Then he had a heart attack and died. Wow. So that's a Chevy then? Yeah. Okay. It's about a 40 or something like that. Wow. And the nice Dodge is in here. I have a video of this thing. See, this is a seven, a 600 Dodge. Here, still got a tag on it. It's a 74, so that right one with the top peeling off of it was older than this. I think the wipers are confused, but it's in good shape. It's just dirty. Old lawnmower's hanging up. See, it's real clean. It ain't rusty. It smells new inside of it. Got a CB. Got a radio, regular radio. That's the old Dodge logo. Painted roof, no headliner. Real clean on the top, or it's dirty, but I mean it's not rusty. Here's where your CB antenna screws on. Ladder to look up in the bed. This one's old enough. It's got Fargo and DeSoto on the plate as well as Dodge. Shut's nice. It's from Jones Motor Sales. I don't know where Gibson City is at. I seen one of them up at the junkyard, but it was all mashed up. That's the Toyota truck that I painted up. Or I didn't paint that one, but I painted a little model of that one. It's got flat, flat tires. There you go. was parked up here next to the fort got lichen growing all over this one eighty two Ford dump truck white Richard was the last one to use this. He held concrete in it. I don't this wasn't here the last time I was here. That's old international tractor. That probably had a backhoe on it at one time. And you can see his old crane across the yonder. Another backhoe up there on the other side of that pipe. And then that's his, his cabin and the lake. I don't think that John Deere over there is his. That's whoever's doing the tree stuff. We walked around that way. A 
come out of Florida. Mm -hmm. Wow. It was a city truck. Green Dodge that was back there that the cabs mashed in on. Well, that damn piss elm tree broke and fell. R R R that was a good cab. Yeah, it looked like it was before that. Yeah, it was a good cab. It pissed me off. Damned old trees could fall a hundred different ways. Yeah. But boy, they'll get on something and run it every time. This old run right here's got to go. Mm hmm. That one over there needs to go. Ain't got no insurance on them, so it's the insurance is cut the trees. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the best thing to do, cut yeah. the trees down. <sighs> did you see that old Ford tractor sitting in there? Yes, I did. That's a six-cylinder. Huh.